It's day 13. We are already almost at the end of the second week of the counting of the Omer. We are still within Gvura, this week that focuses on strength and power and boundaries in uh, restraint and constraint and uh, really thinking about how do we look at the boundaries in our lives and the things that have a lot of control in our lives. And of course, we're always trying to create balance. Well, interestingly, today we're coupling Yesod with Gevura. And Yesod is the foundation. It's what grounds and gives truth and integrity to our sense of boundaries and discipline. Where do we really find that core? Uh, and Interestingly, the um, Gold Herring workbook on the counting of the Omer even encourages you to go back to day 11 when you were thinking about setting long-term goals and helping yourself to keep achieving them. And two days later, how's that going for you? Uh, it's interesting to consider. Only two days later, are you still thinking about it? Are you maybe along your way? Are you celebrating how you're doing in your long-term goal? Uh, or um, maybe not even sure what that long-term goal is. Uh, we all have ideas of what we are called to do and what is asked of us in a long-term sense. What will require discipline as we continue along the pathways of our life. And in Rabbi Karen Kedar's beautiful Omer, a counting book. Uh, for day 13, she talks about destiny. There are times when you chase your destiny and there are times when your destiny chases you. Pay attention. Are you in pursuit or are you being pursued? If you are being chased by your destiny, you will notice multiple forces converge, pushing you, pulling you. You will sense a synergy, a conspiracy of circumstance. Thought and coincidence will collide. Always follow the energy. Let it guide you, chart your direction, forge your path, inform your decisions. When destiny pursues you, it is best to allow yourself to be caught, even if you do not yet completely understand. Have you had that happen? I know I have, where I feel like, as Rabbi Nachman Abratzlov says, you're living more in tune. You're listening to what the universe is trying to convey to you, what God wants of you. And we all have callings in that sense. So uh, listen, listen to what it's gonna take to get there and what at its core and at its foundation, at your core and foundation, you are meant to be doing. So let's count now our day of the Omer, day 13. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav Vitzivanu Al Sivirat HaOmer Blessed are you, source of life, spirit of the world, who has sanctified us with commandments and commanded us to count the Omer. Hayom Shlosha Asar Yom Shehem Shvu'a Echad V'shisha Yamim LaOmer Today is day 13, which is one week and six days of the Omer. Keep enjoying the journey. See you soon. Bye.